Have you ever wondered how a microwave cooks your food? Well, you've probably heard the expression, I'm going to nuke my pizza. Well, that's not exactly correct because when you use the word nuke, it's referring to something nuclear. Uh, two examples, nuclear fission is how an atomic bomb works, and nuclear fusion is how the sun works. And the microwave actually uses electromagnetic radiation, or plainly put, radio waves. And these are generated by the magnetron tube, and it sits behind here, and when you start the microwave up, you might hear a low humming noise. So that's a thing that emits the uh, electromagnetic radiation, or again, radio waves. They come out here, and they come out at a frequency of 2.45 billion times a second. In other words, they're oscillating, they're going back and forth, changing direction 2.45 billion times a second. And you'll see in a minute why that's important. Because what happens is as they come out, a microwave will pass through plastic, it'll pass through glass, but it'll actually be absorbed by a liquid, such as water, milk, or any other liquid. And what happens is the molecules in the liquid actually have polarization, north and south poles, and as the microwaves are going back and forth, it's causing the molecules in the food to also go back and forth. And this excites the molecules, and as such, they produce heat, and that's where the heat from the microwave comes from. Now, as I mentioned, the microwaves come out the top here, and when you cook something, we're going to use a, a demonstration here. I'm going to heat up a glass of water, and for illustration purposes, I have a neon light. It's in there are actually three neon lights, and you see how the microwave not only works, but why it's important that we have to rotate the food as it's being cooked. So I'm going to set that up on top of my glass of water there. We're going to program the microwave for 60 seconds. And as you watch, you see sometimes it's three, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's one neon light. And the reason it's being is the microwaves come out, they bounce around inside the cavity. And as such, as they pass through the food, while they heat the food, they don't heat the food evenly because the microwaves don't pass through the food all at once. Now, as you rotate the food round and round, as is illustrated by our lights here, the food is cooked. Like here, watch, when the light goes off here, there's actually no microwaves passing through the lights, and they don't come on. And the same with the food. As your food goes, there's no microwave energy heating up the food. So as you rotate it, the part that wasn't heated before becomes heated. So eventually, the whole plate of food, or whatever it is you're cooking, becomes warm. Now, if you've ever taken out a, a steak or hamburger or something and eaten it right away, you notice that some spots are hot and some are cold, and that's why, because the microwave isn't heating evenly. So it's best when you take your food out of the microwave and leave it sit for a minute or two. That way the heat will distribute. It'll actually move from the areas of hot to cold and warm them up. And that's how today's microwaves work.